Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys came over today for some much needed motivation. If you guys need some motivation, let me tell you, you have clicked on the right video. I legit cleaned my house. It felt like all day. I was so exhausted at the end, but the end results always make everything worth it. So as you can tell, I just started off with um, doing some dishes, getting them in the dishwasher, and getting the dishwasher running. For some reason, my dishwasher takes a really long time, and I guess it's kind of bothersome, but it does a really good job, so I can't complain at all. And you'll see that I kind of move on and I just get to kind of like wiping down the kitchen. I am trying to get caught up on dishes and laundry. For some reason, I just can't get caught up lately on dishes and laundry. So this is my attempt to get caught up. As you can tell, my oven really needed this scrub down. Oh my goodness. And then about twice a week just really needs to get like sponged and scrubbed down. And so that's why um, I wanted to show you guys a close up because when you come back, you don't really see that there was really a need for it to be cleaned, but oh my goodness, it gets dirty so easy. I, it must be the way I cook, I have no idea. Or maybe everybody's oven tops do this, I have no idea. So anyway, I just wanted to video our whole day of cleaning and you'll see me and my son, we do a bunch of different chores, just trying to get things done. And so I hope this gives you some much needed motivation. And I'm really excited with the progress that we made. And it seemed like we got a lot done. So stay tuned and you can check out and see how much we actually got accomplished. Love it when everything is wiped off. As you can tell, I still had dishes that needed to go through my dishwasher. I also had a crock pot meal going on my counter and um, everything was just not going to look perfect this day. And I think that we shouldn't let the idea that everything has to look perfect at the end discourage our cleaning. Because on this day, I couldn't make everything look perfect. I needed to leave out my crock pot. There was stuff that just needed to be out. Things um, had kind of a little bit of a process. So if you don't get that ultimate satisfaction right away, try to stick with it and just know that, hey, my counters are really clean. Or, hey, look at that sparkling stove top. I really did a good job. So now you'll notice that me and my son... Um, kind of are doing the laundry at this point and really one of his jobs besides unloading the dishwasher is he always switches over the laundry and he actually does his own laundry usually so this is where he was kind of helping me he was you know switching over taking laundry out things like that I always make him do his own laundry but I make him switch over the laundry as um, an actual chore that he gets paid for um, by allowance and I'll link my allowance video up here. So I, he kind of has like these few unlimited chores and this is one of them. So on this particular day, this is a very realistic um, cleaning actually because most of the time this is really how it goes. I don't tend to do everything by myself, just you know, one person. I really will call who's ever around and say, hey, come help me. So um, most of the time my son's around and why not, you know, he lives in the house too and I don't think there's anything wrong with saying, hey, come on and help me. So on this particular day, he helped me a ton and yes, like he gets allowance, so there should be no reason that, you know, he didn't help. So this is later on and I thought this was so cute because he was watching his phone and putting away 
the dishes, but I thought that was really cute. And so while he did that, I actually went in and started on my disaster of a living room. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. But I knew if I just jumped in and got it done, it would be good. And actually, my son um, should be in bed right now. But instead of going to bed, he said, no, I'll help you. And it was just more, he didn't want to go to bed. But I will take all the help I can get anytime. And summer vacation is a wonderful time to let him stay up a little bit later and take advantage of that help. I wanted to add this in because a lot of times people will say comments like kind of like your house isn't that dirty and things like that but my house gets like everyone else's house and yes that was a pop tart on my couch and so yeah that happens to me just like it happens to you and look at my cushions are all out of sorts and a lot of them needed to be vacuumed off so yeah, this happens to me just like it happens to you. So I think sometimes on camera it doesn't look that bad because it looks so far away. But honestly, whew, my house is not any better than y'all's. And we are in this together, let me tell you. So definitely wanted to give you some encouragement that, you know, not everybody's house is perfect. And even people's houses um, that you think have it all together, they're definitely not perfect either. So just wanted to kind of throw that out there. So I wanted to give you guys kind of a fun fact. So the reason that my living room was so messy on this particular night was because my son had made this huge fort and it was like a really big summer fort in the living room and he used umpteen amount of blankets and chairs and books and all this stuff so that's why the coffee table was actually moved out of the way and all this so I took advantage of it and um, got under there to vacuum and it was so funny because I just asked him hey can you help me move the coffee table back and he was already pulling it before I could even finish the sentence and so he is so funny like that he just thinks that he's the Hulk and he could do everything by himself and oh, I just love him so much but I went through after this and I've been using my Enviro cloths to dust and I just put a little bit of water on one side of the Enviro cloth and they're kind of like e-cloths and so you just need water basically. These to dust you don't actually don't even need water but I have these like stuck on rings as you can tell that um, I really actually had to scrub those but they ended up coming off and it just uses water so I don't usually get my whole cloth wet. I usually get about half of it wet so I have the other half in case I want the dry side and that actually works the best for me that I have found and I was really excited. Um, it did come off as stunning on camera uh, just because of the light but I was really excited that those rings came off because I was kind of worried about them to be honest y'all. So.
yay one part of my house done I am so excited and oh my gosh y'all if you can only get your living room cleaned or your dining room or your kitchen if you get one room done in that particular day be proud of yourself because that was a lot of work and I had actually been laying down thinking that I was gonna go to sleep and then I said no 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 I'm gonna get up I'm gonna run another load of dishes and I'm gonna flip my laundry over. That was my big thing. And I decided that while Ryan unloaded the dishwasher to run in there and try to clean the living room up. And really, it took just as long for him to unload the dishwasher, basically as it was for me to clean the living room. So it's interesting how we think things are gonna take so long and then it ends up not taking any time at all. But <laughs> as I say that, these dishes did feel like they took forever, and that's okay, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but I was trying to cram as many dishes as I could into this dishwasher and just be done with it, because I had dishes from that night's dinner as well, and so that's what I've been kind of trying to fight right now, is that I'll have dishes left that need to go through the dishwasher, but then I'll make a whole big meal, and I have more dishes, like the crock pot from tonight. And I'll actually have a video going up of what I made that night. It's so yummy. It's one of my go-to easy meals. And I actually had my women's group on this particular night. And so the break in between, um, I had went and met with all my friends, kind of had like a Bible study, and came back and did all this. So that's why it really was kind of an all-day clean. But some days you just want to finish. Like you want to feel like you've got a lot done and that you're not getting up with a huge to-do list and that was really my goal on this particular day so as I finish all these dishes it just makes me feel really good to know that okay just keep pushing through for a little bit longer because you're almost almost done kind of a cleaning products junkie and I go back and forth between what I like and what's convenient. Um, sometimes I sponge off my counters and use Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products or I use like Method Daily Granite. Um, sometimes I use my Norex cloths and I just use water. Sometimes I use the Norex cloths and then I go over it with um, Mrs. Meyer's or a Method Cleaner as well. And so I feel like I kind of do different things based on my energy level. So this night I knew that things needed to get wiped back down, but really I just needed to do a quick wipe down and know that everything is clean. And in my go-to on those particular nights, it's always my Norex cloths because I can just get them wet and your counters feel so clean after it. I have no idea what or the technology or anything, but oh my gosh, I love them. And so it is wonderful for these nights that are so hard and you just want to get done so you can, um, you know, sit down with your husband for five minutes or things like that. And on this particular night, I had a couple of 
fingerprints that were just driving me a little crazy. So I decided to clean my stainless steel and I always clean my stainless steel with the Wayman's uh, stainless steel cleaner. It's not the best. I feel like it's kind of hard to do, but I do like the outcome. So if y'all have any suggestions about what you clean your stainless steel with, I would love to hear it because I'm not super loving what I like, what I have been doing. I do love the outcome and the results, so don't get me wrong. But sometimes it's really hard to kind of like polish it in and it might just be my cloth actually. I would love to hear y'all's suggestions. Don't you all love how things turn out at the end? Oh my gosh, it's not perfect. I have some stuff out still. I still have a few dishes that have to get into the dishwasher, but guys, we did it and it looks so good. So I am just gonna be proud and excited for what I got done. Thank you so much for coming over and watching this video. And don't forget to comment down below, like and thumbs up this video. I will talk to y'all all in the comments and I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts and opinions. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.